Hello, friends, family, and my followers. This is Hike360, and I'm here to give you a new hike this week. Woo! Woo All right, we are in Joliet. We're gonna do the Joliet Ironworks hike, which is right over here, but I wanted to take a moment while the train was coming in to really explore the fact that we are in Joliet, and we are right near, I guess at the end of the trail, is the old Illinois State Prison, which they used in the Blues Brothers. It closed down in 2002, so we're going to be okay when we pass by. Yeah, but I got to assume, so in the beginning of the Blues Brothers, see the bridge behind the tree here I'm pointing to? It's going down. In the beginning of the Blues Brothers, after he picks up, Elwood picks up Jake from jail, they have a scene where they cruise over a bridge, and that looks like the bridge that they cruise over. So since that bridge was up and is now going down, I wanted to capture that on film. I am I am so excited. Awesome. I am so excited. I'm very excited too. I, I generally love, and I said this when we went live a little bit, but I love great, uh, sorry, Brownfield. So I love taking old industry and bringing it back to nature and that's what this hike is um it's cold out so we got the car on but uh i i really like that because i can still feel that you know that city energy mm -hmm. except that we're you know back into nature and uh you know juliet i mean this is the hardest work in town in, in the states i mean this is old america yeah well, that's the feel I get. I, I've never really seen anything like this uh, going through the town. I mean, there's, there's steelworks and ironworks and, and bricks, and it's just, you know, it's very strange. Coal, like all very industrial, and uh, I, I, I've not seen anything like this before. Yeah. I mean, you look at this factory over your shoulder here. Um, and I don't know what they were doing. It looks like a steel building because of the long long as but all the windows are busted out I mean that that's just hopefully next to come down at some point but we're gonna be walking along the tracks kind of a straight line so I think we got water over here and tracks over here the hike is down and back mm -hmm. well uh, no it's a loop so it's actually down one side and around another okay I don't think it actually starts till a little bit further in. all right all right. So we've just started the hike. This is the Joliet Ironworks hike again, still. I don't know if we had a chance to say that too many times. The Joliet Ironworks hike. This train line is so busy. That's the third train in about 15 minutes or 10, 10 or 15 minutes. Wow. This is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. This building remains is not on the featured list, but we do have a nice view. So this is the first stop. I, uh... Do you have a picture of the map from the book? Yeah. Because I thought there would be more description about what these particular ruins were. I think these are this, this is the blast furnaces one and two. Okay. And, uh, yep. And the casting bed is where those other signs are. Seems reasonably small. I mean, everything is a, such grand scale here, but this. The start of this is 1880s. Um, we are reading some of the plaques here. And if these guys were making general purpose steel, but also steel for railroad tracks, simultaneously 1880s, Pullman Town was at its peak. Yeah, here's the, here's the circle for the oh. furnace.
Here at the Joliet Iron Works, high risk jobs required the most manual labor and paid the lowest wage. Men dumped materials into the top of 70 foot tall blast furnaces. Escaping gases could, suffoc could suffocate the workers, causing falls to the ground or into the molten mix. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so the sign over there said this is the birthplace of modern worker safety movements. Here's a plant process diagram. Iron ore uh, pre and coke, which is pre-cooked coal, and limestone are the raw materials. So the limestone quarries that we pass around here obviously came up here. Uh, you heat it to 1500 degrees, the book said 3200 I thought. Molten iron into racks and molds. So you you mold the liquid into what the finished form is. Oh man, this is just such a such a process. So this whole thing shut would, down in the 30s. This shut down in the 30s. 1930. Yeah. Oh, so wow. those those safety workers uh, had about 10 years before that picture. Okay. Before yeah, it shut down. Before their safety got caught up with <laughs> with the reality of what they were doing well I, I guess that makes good sense uh, this had a 50 year 60 year life and then time to turn over to these guys had a 50 or 60 year life mm -hmm. when I see these guys I mean the factories So this, this sign does not tell us really what this building in front of me here did. Um, there's four big circles with what looks to be grooves for tracks in the middle of it. Um, not really sure what that is other than tracks. But uh, the sign here talks about more um, employee safety standards from the very beginning of employee safety concepts so um, the mix between newly landed immigrants who aren't speaking English the sign says that uh, if you didn't speak English well enough you were twice as likely to be injured or killed on the job and then back then uh, you just were replaced because there were more people who wanted the job so the safety first movement I guess started somewhere in the 19 aughts. Um, 1907 is what this says. The Safety First movement was started. And one of the things that they did early on was to print safety signs in multiple languages. So they've got an example here. And English, Czechoslovakian, Hungarian, Croatian, and Polish. There's some early Joliet Midwest history. This sidewalk has a pretty cool timeline built in, uh, carved into the bricks. Let's see if you can here. You can see carved into the bricks are uh, events in history. So this is going from 1876 to about 1907, so it's what, 30 years or so. So 1876, the telephone is invented. In uh, this timeline here, we go from the telephone to the airplane. And it's amazing to think that we, obviously today we live in an amazing time of rapid change, but the rapid change is really more than 100 years old because 1876, so we're talking just after the Civil War, telephones invented. 77 is the phonograph. Uh, this was 18 something or other electric, I don't know what, Red Cross in 82. 85, the first skyscraper, 1886, Coca-Cola, just 1891, as Opera House burns down, sorry, that's how we started, 1893, motion pictures, so we're now 20 years, a little less than 20 years, 1896, Ford builds cars, 1900, Roosevelt visits Joliet, cool, 1903, Wright Brothers at the airplane. So, 
that's a pretty amazing time period of change. Your modern transportation, of course, this, you know, this, this plant's building for, for railroad. So all these other things are really not even part of what this plant was doing. Uh, I'm sorry, I just, I love technology, I love change, and so I'm going to talk about it, but uh, that's a, an incredible time period. I don't really think of the late 1800s as that dramatic a change, but most modern communications, creature comforts like electricity and transportation systems were invented then. Right making some videos um we're slowly moving forward lots of videos for this this is really packed uh and the topic uh, du jour obviously is uh not just well there's no information about the brownfielding of this facility it's uh all and actually there's very little information about the facility itself what the information is really on is the labor and safety. Um, this chart here kind of talks about the cost, well there's a cartoon here, the cost of food to steel workers and hours of work to fill in the order of bacon, beef, butter, bread, potatoes. So a Belgian would take 14 hours of work to earn enough money to buy that food. A German would be half of that at seven hours, half of that would be an Englishman, and uh, less than half of that, in other words one and a half hours for a at that time a natural born American. So a lot of wage disparity for the same position um, based on race. Yeah. Let's talk a little nature. I know for some of you you're gonna be looking at this like this is just one big garbage dump. Um, and it may be. But it is an attempt to go back to nature. We're we're loving this. Orion has just spent about 15 or 20 minutes doing social media videos just in this section, this building ruin yeah. of itself. And, uh, you know, the Joliet Jail is over there. We'll head out over there after this hike just to, to go visit. And yeah, this is, you know, rubble. This is not natural, not nature. This definitely makes me feel better about my job and kind of humbles me about the things that I complain about at work because, uh, yeah, uh, sometimes I feel like I work, come home, eat, go to sleep, and then go back to work, but um, I don't think it's to the extreme that these guys were doing. Yours, your job is a little more safe. Oh yeah, there's that. You don't, you don't need to worry about <laughs> physical harm. But uh, yeah, so the beginning of this, which I didn't talk about, is uh, most people work six, uh, six days a week. Workday was about 10 hours a day. And um, you know, the minimum wage, well there was no minimum wage uh, back then, but people were making, I don't know what this translates to modern dollars. This is actually, to modern dollars, this can't be that bad. Yeah, in comparison it wasn't to, like a can of Coke, like a nickel. Yeah, well of course, cost of living is less, but um, you know, this is December of 1887, so we're talking about 140 years. Well, it's got this thing right here. But this is the 30s, and this doesn't have prices there. No, it's just all this, but this so. is 37, so this is uh, 50 years after this 10-day work day, oh. six days a week, and this wage level of 50 cents to a dollar 75. Which obviously, you look at today, you're like, oh, that's horrible. Da -da -da -da. This is 140 years ago, 130 years ago, um, with standard economic or you know inflationary terms. This is not going to translate to seven dollars. This is going to translate into the teens, most likely. Mm -hmm. um, not that you know making teens 12, 15, 18 dollars an hour is great, but it's not like making seven dollars an hour. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna name this hike what it is. This is not a nature hike, this is a history hike. So we are not making progress through any distance. This whole hike is just over a mile. So there was never any plan to really put in distance on this hike, but the history we're learning is pretty excellent.
So that prison is not, uh, doesn't hold anybody anymore, but. I've never really like stood outside of a prison and looked. Oh. Well, you know, if anyone, <laughs> we have no experience to talk about this topic at all no. uh, in terms of, of uh, industry and steel making. So I would say, if anybody does, tell us what's going on here. Put it in the comments. Please, we're curious. All right, well, we've walked to the end of the property and we're coming back. So we're checking out some of the other properties or the buildings. There. Long tube collection tank with a drain off. No idea what this building did. It is lunchtime now. So we're eating our traditional sunflower butter and ginger preserve sandwiches with my homemade bread. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And we did uh, some economic calculations. So wages were 50 cents to a dollar 75, whatever, per day in 1887, I think it was, somewhere in there. And then we saw another statistic saying that 1910 or so, 19, early 1900s, uh, there was a two point something million dollar payroll for 3,000 employees. So between those two concepts, we looked at an inflation calculator and that would be about 30 plus dollars a day and uh, 80, 18 or so thousand, a little between 18 and 19,000 a year annual wage on average. So, in today's terms, that's uh, that certainly could be improved. All right, here we are. This is the opening scene of the Blues Brothers. I I got to tell you, I've always wanted to come down here. Oh, I'm so glad we're here. I am so glad we're here too. This is it. This is the gate. They give tours. Obviously, this is shut down now. Uh, we saw a sign over here that says they give tours of the inside. So. If you find yourself in the uh, Metropolitan Joliet area anytime soon, make sure to have a prison tour on your list. I don't think they're going out with a COVID, but that's just a guess. This is so excellent. <laughs> 